So let me explain a lab 11. It's pretty cool. So essentially what's going on is that if you're walking through subway doors and they, they get caught on you and you push back, you can actually physically push them. They're not going to squish you. So we're building subway doors, but we're also putting a timer on. So essentially what's going to happen is the driver's going to get on and he gets onto the subway and he presses start. By the way, when he gets on the subway, one of the doors is open. The other door is actually closed, but one of them is open. Okay. So he walks onto the subway, he goes into the car or whatever, and he presses the on button. He turns the system on and the door is closed. Okay, good. So now he wants to open the doors. He presses the door open valve, push button valve, no, no longer a button, push button valve. Uh, and what that does is it opens the doors and then they stay open for five seconds and they close. That's all. But there's a but. So, and by the way, there's a pneumatic timer that, that closes them and there's a pneumatic timer in the in the um in the station so you'll find it the cool thing is is that if you go and you push that if you physically push the cylinders back yourself during the lab you'll see they let go very much like what happened in lab 10 except we're using a really cool a, a pressure return shuttle valve it's really cool so essentially it's exactly what we did with the with the um, the pressure regular, it's not the pressure regular. Sorry, the um, the pressure relief valve. But this is even cooler. What it does is it allows you to physically push back, and it will slide really nice and evenly. So um, it's not going to do that. It's a it's a pressure return shuttle valve. Pretty cool. So you'll find one in the in the. Uh, it looks like this. Okay, the pressure return shuttle valve looks like this. Okay, and that's air. That air comes out there. So what's going to happen is that the air from the DCV is going to go in there, and then this will go into a splitter and go to both cylinders. Yeah, you're using one DCV to control two cylinders. By the way, you can do that. So there you go. Um, if you push back, it's going to generate pressure. It's going to come down here, and it's going to actually go, and it's going to vent out here. Pretty cool. So, um, yeah, that's it. Okay, bye. I think that's it. That's it. Okay, bye.